Emily will come back if she sees this. Ooh. Hi, Bunny. Come on. Surprised you haven't found the hidden food. Oh, bye. Bunny. Bunny. Oh, I think Bunny is zeroing in on the location of the food. It's not very easy to read because I have terrible handwriting.
hitting my bunny just observing this kidney exuberance. Not sure what to make of it. <laughs> Very excited, aren't you? Very wound up today. It's good. He's got a big day today. Bunny, what you doing? Look, he went all the toys. Must have all the toys. What's he picking? Oh, he's so cute. We are not actually at the bed, but we will be. So did anyone here see Cassidy on Good Morning America? I can't, I don't know if they just tweeted the video or if they actually showed it on air. Cause that would be cool. So yeah, we're going to um, see the specialist and um, since they have to give him anesthesia to take the x-rays and um, potentially do um, anything that might need to be adjusted in there. Um, since he's going to be down anyway, they're going to just do a quick little snip and do it, do his neuter at the same time so he doesn't have to do anesthesia twice. So that's nice. We like to get stuff done um, without, we try to bundle it a little bit so that we don't have to do more than more anesthesia than is necessary. So we should be able to
um, yeah, so we'll be doing um, specific, uh, the specialists wanted to do certain um, very uh, specific x-rays so that they could really see what was going on in there. And um, oh, 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 she made it up there. Wow, that's impressive. That's impressive work, Bunny. Yeah, sorry. Unfortunately, that is this is where I was storing his kibble and his treats. It was like, it's like a bear proof shelf, but not anymore. Not anymore. Cute. So we're hoping that um, he will, we will be able to do something to address. I don't know if you can, you've probably seen him running around. See how this leg uh, bends at the knee properly, and the other, the left, his left one here, um, is actually hyperextended the wrong way, and he doesn't really use it very much, and he's not able to bend his knee. So we're hoping, not that you let it slow you down. But we're hoping there may still be a way to restore use of his knee on that side. Ooh, get her. <clears throat> but I um, have no idea if that's actually possible at this point. But um, we are going to try. Oh, it's a bunny. This bunny is now officially outraged because she found the food. She was so close. And then the food had to go away. Uh, he will get weighed and he will have another exam before he goes, uh, before he gets his um, anesthesia. So shortly. The uh, specialist is is uh, not too far. It's about 20 minutes, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, oh. that bunny tricked me. I, I thought that one was empty. She's a tricky little bunny, isn't she? Tricky little bunny. <laughs> yeah, it's not his, it's not that he holds it his left leg forward, it's his knee. His the see how his knee joint functions on this side it does not function on this side and it um so it's not just that so he holds it up out of the way because i think it hurts um but he, he's not actually able to bend his knee joint and uh, he was at one point able to do that so it's something um we don't know if it's related to his growth plate being damaged or uh, if he may have twisted it at some point and it's locked in a weird position. But we haven't been able to do anything about it because he's so small, they can't feel what's going on. It feels really strange, whatever is in there. And and um, Dr. Ferguson got the best x-rays you can get on a, a, an awake kitten that's kind of like squirming and you can't really hold on to the stumps. It's really hard to get a good x-ray. So. And they also need to be able to position it exactly the way, the way like certain angles, which would be uncomfortable for him. So we're gonna get to the bottom of it. So 
So he's, uh, he's adapted to his circumstances, which he's a little champ. That's what he does. He loses the use of his knee and he just works with it. But um, I want to make sure, I want to do everything possible to see if we can, at least, at least we don't want it to hurt him. Um, you know, at a minimum, we don't want him to feel pain in it. But I would love for him to be able to be able to actually use that knee because he, right now he's, he's like scampers like a tripod. He uses this one and he just kind of tries to keep this one out of the way. But yeah, I will probably be there. I'll probably stay. Yeah, and they don't know anything about, you know, we don't, we, we won't be able to know about nerve damage and muscle damage. And, you know, he doesn't have an Achilles, uh, he doesn't have certain muscles and tendons that would normally keep things, um, you know, positioned properly so it may be something that it's going to be a recurring issue it's it's hard to say um it may so so we don't know we'll know later hopefully hopefully we'll have more information later on but at least the first the first thing is um the first step is getting some pictures on the oh are you ready to my finger getting some good x-rays so that they can try to figure out what actually is going on in there. So, and you'll, thankfully you'll be asleep, so he won't be, um, it won't be hurting him for them to do what they need to do. And he'll get some nice pain meds for his neuter anyway. You. So, and we took him last, he, he met with the specialist last week also, um, thanks to Dr. Ferguson, and um, um, was still too little at that point um, to get to get the anesthesia. And we also wanted him to have another week to be healthy and off his antibiotics and make sure that the infection is under control and not coming back and all of that. So um, we don't want to take any risks with him. So, you know, it's one of those calls you have to make to, we didn't want to risk it then, but he's done great for another week. So, um, and he's a week bigger and a week stronger. And so, um, they will do a, a thorough exam before anything starts, just to make sure that there are no concerns, uh, um, to keep everything as safe as possible. Right, buddy? Oh, yes. Are you going to be a good boy? Are you going to be ferocious? Yes. <laughs> are you going to like your happy drugs? Your brother? When Topper went in for his neuter, um, that didn't quite work out, uh, he got, he was still like up and playing longer to actually get, be sedated because he, he's so rambunctious. <laughs> So Cassie's had a nice big pee this morning in the appropriate litter box location. Good job, buddy. He's not yet pooped. So we're going to leave in a few minutes. I feel like you're a little gassy suddenly. I feel like maybe you have to poop. You've got a few minutes to poop if you need to go. Maybe 
like this feather. Yeah, I'm not going to broadcast the appointment, no. I guess I should bring the wet wipes just in case. <laughs> just in case there's an incident in the car. Yes, and we will be taking his temperature, so. <laughs> yes, I will be there the whole time. Um, we are hoping that, so Topper is cryptorchid, which means that one of his testicles has not descended. Uh, both Dr. Ferguson and I thought we felt two testicles, one being very, very tiny, but um, by the time when he uh, was actually under, um, it had, dis she couldn't find it again. And so rather than do have to do two surgeries, um, we're giving him a little more time to grow and develop and then, and hoping that it will drop down because it's a much less invasive surgery to just do a regular neuter than to have to do, they have to, otherwise they have to do exploratory abdominal surgery, which is, it's not a huge, it's not a huge deal. It's, it's like a spay in, in most cases. In some cases, it's extremely difficult to find and um, they have to really look around for it. But um, um, it's important to get the testicle out because um, inside the body, it's the wrong temperature for testicles. And um, it is actually presents a higher risk for cancer if it is left inside. And also he is, would still be an intact male capable of impregnating a female. So um, for those, both of those reasons, uh, he will, we, we definitely want to get both testicles out. So that's the plan. That's more, more than you ever wanted to know about testicles. Yes, Dr. Dr. F. Um, ha works with this specialist all the time and he's very very good and he thinks um cassidy's amazing also so he's totally on board with everything um have not had a chance to go through all the applications for topper yet nope <laughs> okay, time to pack up. So, uh, here's the old school style PSA. Um, I'll leave the door open and maybe you'll have some visitors. But probably not. Maybe. They'll probably come and look for food and then get disgusted and leave. Maybe, 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 maybe you're going, mister. Should we put you on a pee pad just in case there's an unfortunate incident? What do you think? I know there's a boy now. Just in case. Have I fun? Fun fun. And we'll bring your wipes. Where are your wipes? Here, you hang out here for a minute while I get it ready. And we'll bring your carrot. That's cool. You could bring your fish bed. Compromise. 
Um, should we bring your fish bed? What do you think? Oh, is that a sign that you want me to bring fish bed? Okay, I will bring fish bed for you. All right, everybody say goodbye. Say goodbye. Next time you see Cassidy, she will be even more adorable without his tiny testicles. This one will be familiar smelling. This one. What? more. Bunny. Well, how did you get back there? You know how to. Well, I know. <laughs> That's pretty silly, bunny. Okay. Okay, everybody.